Monsieur Flachard. Lydia. <laughs> She's Camilla. Ah, I heard a lot about you, Madame Nice Kiriyevska. to meet you. My dearest Monsieur Flachard himself. The king of Parisian entrepreneur in my house. She is my new prima ballerina. She is a divine dancer. Oh, I am sure she is. <laughs> Beata, please tell our dearest Margaret that she should start in five minutes. And we will have some champagne and I will explain your roles. <laughs> Monsieur Flachon? I need to catch my breath. You are a miracle. Indeed, a miracle. Camilla, come here. It was delightful. I couldn't take my eyes off you. Ooh. And this music, it is splendid. Your opinion is very important for Margaret and for me. We are wishing her a huge success. You are bound to succeed. I think Monsieur Flachon is absolutely right. You will be a star, my dear. Thank you. It was great. Thank you. Thank bravo, you so bravo. Thank you so much. So much. So, how did it go? Fantastic. Good. She's taking such a good care of me. Have you ever stopped to wonder why? Why have you been helping me all these years? Because I'm your friend. And I'm an heir. Well, that should be enough. She's my friend, too. Can you please find Beat for me? Yeah. I'll go and get her. <laughs> so, what do you think? The failure is guaranteed? Absolutely. <laughs> it's hard to imagine something more absurd than that. Well, great then. This fool is in my hands now.
I really don't know what to do. I only have one idea, to run away. And where? I owe this woman three thousand francs. She will have me put in jail. And, and ruin my reputation. She's such a hypocrite. This woman's dangerous. She's, she's looking for revenge, you know that. But why? Well, I just wonder if it actually matters. At the stage we're at now, I think we just need to know what to do next. I don't know. Lydia is powerful and she's rich and we, we don't... We can find a solution. <sighs> yes, of course, right. But God will help us. We just have to find the sign. That's what you mean? I know this routine. This was developed by the Garten family in Russia. It's very risky, actually, for the circus. Look at this. That's amazing. Margaret, so nice to see you. Nice Finally, to see you too. we've been looking all over Paris for you. Gabriel, my friend. Hi, how are you, Cyrus? How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, you take yourself for an acrobat now, that's you. <laughs> no, wait a second. You just said we were looking. We. Who's the we? Just wait and see. <laughs> I missed you so much. Oh, look at you. You're so beautiful. Uh, you two together? Yes, we are. <laughs> and I hope for life. <laughs> what about you two? No, no, you two? no. No, we're just friends. Just friends. <laughs> but the best of friends, eh? Of course, of course, yes. All right. Let's go somewhere to celebrate. Yes. Let's yes. go. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> so this Portuguese asshole climbs on stage and grabs Patty. But I was right there. I turned him around and boom! <laughs> Punched him in the face and the guy just fell like a brick. Then that asshole turned out to be a major sheep owner. Yeah, we had to run away very fast. <laughs> <laughs> he also beat up two lawyers that the Portuguese guy sent after us and the policeman. I couldn't leave such a brave man, could I? No, you certainly couldn't. <laughs> How did you end up in the circus? Well, that's a long story. But I used to know Victor before. Mm -hmm. I was on the ship which cruised between Glasgow and New York. The items did shows for the passengers doing all sorts of risky stunts. It was a long journey, and people enjoyed watching other people flirting with death. Yeah, our lives always hang by a thread. Mm. That's true. So, what about you two? I'm gonna give a performance in a week and it's gonna be a disaster. Really? Yeah. So just don't do it then. I can't. I owe a lot of money to a woman. Yes, and this woman is a liar. She's trying to disgrace Margaret and she's trying to gain complete control over you. What are you going to dance? It's her MP. <laughs> Come on, Patty. Uh, sorry. White people will never understand what is her MP. If you want to impress anyone in this town, you have to learn in the dances. You're right. I'm ready. I would do everything to avoid such a humiliation, really. And we'll help you. I mean, Patty will help you. <laughs> you do that? Yes. You will teach me? Sure. You have a son for me. If you're able to help me, I would be so grateful. <clears throat> I don't know how this devil became such an angel. <laughs> She's always divine. <laughs> Do you have enough money to arrange everything? Uh, no. No. To be honest, we don't have any money, but I know someone that would be glad to lend it to me, right? Yeah. Okay. Toast. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers.
I want another drink. I'm sorry, sir, but can you pay for I it? I demand another drink. Can I see the money, please? Give me another drink. I'll pay no, wait, afterwards. Please. I cannot. I can't. Let's go, dear. Let's go home, Redek. No, on. I'm begging you. I'm having such a wonderful Let's time. Let's go home. I can't leave. I can pay, so I can't leave. All right. I'll pay for you, but this is the last time. Why Let's the go. last time? You just pay 3,000 to Margaret. And who knows who else? That is none of your business. Let's go. We have been through so much together. After all we did to Maurier, that... That horrible fire, that dead kid. I thought I'd become special to you. I was obviously wrong. All right. Let's go, my dear. Let's go home. I'll do anything you say, Lydia. Bye, boys! I'll see you in hell! <laughs> Think of dirty sailors from around the world who used to stare at my girl. Margaret will have some clothes on at the end of this. And she won't be dancing in a brothel. No. Depends how you look at it. Not since yesterday. He was drunk as a skunk. Let him sleep in his lair. How is our foolish girl? Rehearsing. She bought a heap of fabrics, found the musicians. By the way, how much does she owe me already? 5,668 francs. Great. Different music. Aubert, I need to see this. I wish I burned her in those stables. Well, since you brought it up, madam, Riddock has been talking an awful lot lately about that episode, even to strangers. I would have gotten rid of him long ago, but I thought he could control his mouth. Perhaps he can't. Just say the word, madam. I uh, completely forgot this letter came for you this afternoon. It's from the consulate. Mm. <sighs> Do you remember the man that was given my Letters to none. Yeah. He writes here that Rodolphe sent Jean-Louis to his aunt in Dunkerque. I could go to see her. Um, well, that would take a couple of days. You should be uh, practicing for your performance. I know. 
should I get a cab for the station? Put some of uh, Madame's money to good use. You stay in Paris, and I will go alone. Maybe you will never accept me if I come with a man. Right. You are drinking too much, Maximilian. Yes, I am. And you do too much talking. You shouldn't mention the fire in the stables everywhere you go. You don't want to end up getting guillotined, do you? You must look after me, and you must be very kind to me. Because if I go down, you will go down. <laughs> we have to make sure that doesn't happen. So from now on, you're going to be very generous to me. I have great needs. Are you blackmailing me? <laughs> You're stuck with me. You and me, it's for life. <laughs> what the hell? Don't move. Don't move. Don't scream. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Calm down. I don't want to scream. Calm down, please. Drink a little. Take it. Calm down. I, I think that it is the best way for him. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> it is the best way for him, and it is the best way for me. Everything is all right, Uber. Calm down. Everything is all right, Uber. Uber, this young man, he saved my life. And please, take care of this. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Thank you, dear. And we will get out of your way. Come with me, boy. Come with me. Everything is all right. I just want to thank you. Come with me.
Hello. I'm Margaret. Margaret Zell, Nan's mother. What do you want? I came here all the way from Paris. I traveled all night long just to see my daughter. Please, let me just hug her, and then I'll go. I promise. You have my word. Won't you let me in? Time to get ready. We must go to church. I want to go to church with you. The kind of woman you are isn't the kind who belongs in the house of God. Time for your morning prayer. There are only business papers there. <laughs> I need money. Oh. I have to leave. Why? You don't need to leave, so you shouldn't leave. I like you. You're a cute boy. And I am very, very rich. They'll kill me if I stay in Paris. Oh. Who are they? I know a lot of people. I know the right people. And I can protect you. So, so tell me, what's the problem? Kula and I were supposed to steal some golden statue from some old fart's house. 
but we couldn't get it. The old man shot Cole down, and I ran away. That's all. Sit down, dear. So, it was a huge house, and it had a golden statue, right? Yeah. Who's that man? His name is Yujin Gimme? I think so, maybe. But I only remember the house. Oh. You have been sent to me by the devil himself. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, <laughs> religious. That's adorable. Nan, we're late. I shouldn't have let you win. Mommy, take me with you, please. <sighs> Sweetheart, you must understand. The Lord does not allow me to see you. I shouldn't even be here. If I take you away, the policeman would be very angry. And mommy would be put in prison. You understand? But I promise to you, I'll find a way for us to be together. Trust me, huh? We must be patient. I love you so much. Hurry. Get dressed. Hurry. You should leave now. Somebody died because of the statue? I shot that bastard. Ah. But I missed the second one, unfortunately. Please. Is it real gold? Yes, the purest gold. I bought it from Cambodian pirates, paying good price for it. Have you thought about my offer? Uh, opening an Asian museum. Yes. With an oriental dance. Yes. Indonesian, you said. Mm-hmm. I assure you, Maitre, it will be a sensation. And besides, we will help a wonderful woman to make her dream come true. Yes, yes. She wants to get her daughter back. If you only heard the way she speaks about her daughter. It makes me cry every time I hear it. Are you planning to invite someone? Just a few friends. I'm confident your guests will be kind enough to vouch for Madame McLeod. Certainly. Choose the place. 
I think here will be perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. Good afternoon, Monsieur Camille. Have a seat. Tell me. I don't have good news. The old man killed Collard. Mathieu escaped. And Buddha? Still in the old man's house. This little son of a bitch made a fool of me. The client will be very unhappy and surely won't pay. You need to find Mathieu. Got it? Coming. Uber, do something. I believe you're quite safe, madam. I just want the boy. Good evening, madam. I beg your pardon. Time to go, Mathieu. Please. You need a golden Buddha, don't you? You couldn't even keep your mouth shut, stupid son of a bitch. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. You can kill him if you want, but it won't get you the gold. If you listen to me, Matthew will bring you what you want. You are playing with fire, lady. Oh, it is something I enjoy doing. Risk is my second greatest passion after men. This boy is very good. And I haven't played enough with him. He has always been popular with the ladies. So, what do you suggest? Oh, Guimet Museum will be opening tomorrow. There will be a woman there, someone I don't wish well. Matthew will be with me. He will steal the Golden Buddha during the performance and will bring it to you. Interesting. But you could be charged as his accomplice. Yes. Matthew will steal something else too. We'll plant those things among this woman's. She will be accused of stealing, which will make me very, very sad and disappointed. <laughs> you are even more dangerous than me, Madam. <laughs> yes, I take it as a compliment. Well, have it your way then. But one of my guys will go with you to keep an eye on our handsome boy. Go with him. Idiot. Why are we here? Because Patty said so. <laughs> Madame, Monsieur. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? 
You see the guy who just came in? Yeah. Welcome. His name's Matthew. Who? He's called the knife. Good evening. Welcome. He's a thief and a murderer. I saw him once in Marseille. Hello. Good evening. And I think I saw him again last time at Kiryavskaya's. Maybe he's just a gigolo. Welcome. Let's hope so. Watch the car, will you? All right. I will. It's time to put your makeup on. What's the matter, Margaret? I'm scared. What if I fail? You know the right way to end this loss, don't you? What did you feel when you first got naked in public? It was like losing your virginity. A bit painful at first. Then you start feeling the power of them. You saw me naked. What do you think about my body? Like a goddess. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, very special. I think it'll be something that you really enjoy. Yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> Matthew, you're still a thief, I see.
Oh, this way. This way. On Shogi Me! On In only two days, three men have died because of your golden idol. Do you feel right displaying it when it has so much blood on it? You are right. I will send the Buddha to my bank safe right away. I shall not let it endanger anyone any further. These are the criminals who attempted to steal the exhibits from the museum. Their names are Matthew Neva and Hubert Sodien. Oh, Hubert, I didn't expect it from you. You and that boy killed those poor men? Arrest her! <laughs> it was all her plan! <laughs> she wanted saying? us to steal the Buddha! Nobody will believe you, little fool. I will. <laughs> and uh, don't count on help from your protectors this time. <laughs> uh, Baron Ridoch disappeared a few days ago. His servants claim that he went to your place. Madam, is that so? <laughs> You've proved nothing. Absolutely. But there's one circumstance. We finally found the body of Monsieur Ridoch and retrieved the bullet. I don't think it would be very difficult for us to prove that the bullet came from the gun of the man we have arrested, who is your lover, Matthew. I believe it would be easy for us to make him speak the truth. Madame Kiryevskaya, you are under arrest. I don't know what happened, but I found these jewels in my pocket. I swear I didn't put them there. Those criminals wanted to set you up. Please keep it as a present. Gentlemen, this lovely lady impressed us with her grace and boldness. She saved this terrible night with her amazing beauty. And if it were not for this heinous crime, I would say that I'm happy. And what is her name? Please don't. I understand. My daughter. Her name is uh, Matahari. Remember this name, Matahari, which means uh, the eye of the day. 